guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. Today's video is my response to your negative comments on my videos. This should be entertaining, so let's roll. Here's the first one, which was a response to my Kyle Rittenhouse video. Quote, you literally just blow off people that died. You're a psychopath. Do you think cops that go with feeling about suspects before they execute them are okay as well? I'm not touching the execute part. Let's look up the definition of psychopath, shall we? Superficial charm. Uh, no. Have you watched any of my vids? I have no charm. High intelligence. <laughs> Obviously not guilty on that one. Poor judgment. Well, I guess that all depends on the price of the gun I want to buy. Fail to learn from experience. That depends on how painful the lesson was. Incapacity for love? I guess you could ask my wife of 24 years and my four kids about that one. Lack of remorse or shame? Yeah, so? Anyway, Mark Howells, move along. <laughs> this next one was in response to a question I posed asking what people were looking forward to at Thanksgiving, and here's what Kevin4319 had to say. There's always that one guy. This one is in response to our video on plinking squirrels with an air rifle. Stephanie Eaton says, quote, How is taking a life fun? I understand hunting game to eat, but y'all literally just killed for fun. That's evil as F. Well, Stephanie, how about watching the entire video where Justin says they cleaned and ate the squirrels? Maybe get all the information before passing judgment? Also, I do sometimes kill animals for sport with no intention of eating them. It's called coyote season. Yeah. Judge Too Good says, excuse me while I run to the bathroom and throw up. When you're given something and you use it, sorry, but you're bought. Now this was in reference to PRN being sponsored by MDT. And I made a video saying that I would be switching my Voodoo 22 from a Manor stock to an MDT ACC chassis. And first let me say, I understand how channel sponsorships appear to some people. But they wrongly assume that just because I receive a product for free or for a discount that I'm required to say only good things about that product. And that's just false. I personally would never accept those kinds of deals. I maintain complete control of my content. No one tells me what I can and can't say. If I say good things about a product, it's because I truthfully like the product. If I completely hate a product to the point I would never own one, you probably will never see that video because I choose not to bash someone else's hard work. I'd rather just not make that video. Also, MBT was one of the first chassis I ever owned and I owned my ICC long before the sponsorship deal with them. I'm no longer sponsored by them and I will continue to run the ACC on my competition rig because it's an amazing product, in my opinion. The next one, Cody Page says, BS, I'm not going to listen to a guy who runs his bipod controls on the right side of his rifle. I'm not even mad about this one. I mean, he has a valid point, kinda. I am right-handed. It's true I run my bipod slider knob on the right side of my rifle. It's just an efficiency thing at this point. I mean, to change would take so many hours of repetition. It's more comfortable to me to hold the rifle in my left hand and adjust the bipod location with my right. It's just better dexterity. I don't know what else to say on that one. And lastly, Edward Ross says, quote, Please remove that horrible, horrible music. Now, if you go to any number of vlogger YouTube channels or professional photographer, videographer YouTube channels and watch their content, you're going to hear music in the background. It helps the video sound more full. It fills in quiet spots where silence wouldn't make sense with the scene. For some reason, this community that watches firearms content doesn't really appreciate the background music. I add it when I think it creatively makes sense for the video, but mostly I've stopped doing it because of guys like Edward here. I just don't need the drama. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this year's installment of negative comments. I endure it all for your sake so that I can continue to make videos that you might find useful. Actually, endure is probably the wrong word because it's not that hard. I mean, I was a cop. I've pretty much heard it all and been called every name in the book. Thick skin and sarcasm comes with the territory, people. Finally, I do want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have family to spend some time with and that there will be peace and joy in your life. The birth of Jesus means hope and forgiveness, and I pray you find that this year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in 2022.